you really need to take a minute to stop and think about the precedent that Phonak just set with this launch. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the new Phonak Infineo Ultra R and Ultra Sphere hearing aids. And I promise this is not like any of my other reviews I've ever done. So I'm not gonna lie. I was probably just as confused as you are about the new launch of the Infineo Ultra line of devices. After all, Phonak is not exactly the type of manufacturer that releases a new hearing aid every year, unless it's a completely new style of hearing aid. And consider that they just released the Audeo Infineo and Audeo Infineo Sphere hearing aids at the end of last year, I was as shocked as anyone to hear that they were releasing a new hearing aid. But can we even consider the Infineo Ultra R and Infineo Ultra Sphere to be new hearing aids? And if they aren't, what are they exactly? Well, now that I've had a chance to get my hands on these new hearing aids and get them in my ears, I'll finally be able to explain why the Ultras have set a new standard for future hearing aid technology releases. But before I explain exactly how, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It's greatly appreciated. And let me know down in the comments section if you were just as confused as I was with this whole Infineo Ultra launch. Okay, so here's the deal. The new Audeo Infineo Ultra R hearing aids and Ultra sphere hearing aids are not new hearing aids. From a hardware standpoint, they are the exact same hearing aids as the Infineo R's and Infineo spheres that were released last year. They're the same sizes, they have the same lithium batteries, they have the same chargers, they even have the same era chip, and the spheres have the same deep sonic chip. In fact, the only physical difference is that Phonet quietly redesigned their receivers because their original receivers were making their devices fail. But even these newly redesigned receivers that fix the issue are compatible with the Infineo R and Infineo Sphere hearing aids that were released in August of 2024. Phonak also released a new EasyGuard dome intended to prevent earwax related issues better than their old domes, and this new dome is compatible with all the different receiver types dating back to the Marvel hearing aids. Now I'm not going to cover that new dome in great detail in this video, but I will have another video of that separately. Apparently the Ultras are going to be available in all the different color options that Phonak traditionally has, although I did check my portal today and they still have all the same limited colors from the original launch that they had of the Infineos. But with everything else about these new Ultra hearing aids being the same, what's all the hype about? Essentially, this new launch is a firmware update that takes the old Audeo Infineo R's and Infineo Spheres and converts them into the Ultra version of these hearing aids. Essentially, this new Ultra update unlocks new features, providing you with a new and improved version of your Infineo devices. Of course, there are several things that you need to know about this Ultra firmware update, so I'm gonna clear them up for you right now. If you purchase new Audeo Infineo R's or Sphere Infineo hearing aids after October 22nd, 2020, 25, then your hearing care professional should have already run this update for you. However, if you purchased your hearing aids prior to October 22nd, 2025, then you'll need to take your hearing aids back into your hearing care professional's office so they can run this firmware update for you. Again, this update must be completed in office. You cannot have this update done remotely. If you have the Infineo R's, it'll take around two minutes to run this update. And if you have the Sphere hearing aids, it'll take around seven minutes to run this update. If you're someone who unfortunately purchased your devices online, chances are the online company is not going to want to run this firmware update for you and you may have to take it into a local hearing care professional for them to do it for you. If that's the case, you'll need to try and find a local hearing care professional who's willing to do that update for you. A lot of local providers have policies against working with online hearing aids. Of course, this is just one of many reasons not to purchase your hearing aids online. It's also important to note that if you are not performing well with your Infineo hearing aids prior to this firmware update, you're not going to perform well with them after the update. Your overall performance with any hearing aid has everything to do with how well that hearing aid has been fit and programmed for you by your hearing care professional. And the only way to maximize your performance with the Infineo Ultra R and Infineo Ultra Sphere is to make sure that you're going to a hearing care professional who follows audiologic best practices. And if you would like an easy way to find a hearing care professional who can run this firmware update for you and who follows comprehensive best practices, I highly recommend that you check out my website hearingup.com and finding a Hearing Up network member in your area. Hearing Up members have been vetted and are committed to following comprehensive audiologic best practices to ensure that you can hear your absolute best with your Phonak hearing aids. So if you want to make sure that you're squeezing every last ounce of benefit from your Phonak Infineo Ultras and Ultra Spheres, finding a Hearing Up network member in your area is your best bet. 
As far as what you get with this firmware update, there are several things, and we'll start with the upgrade of AutoSense OS 6.0 to AutoSense OS 7.0. Now, you may be familiar with AutoSense OS 7.0 already because this is the same operating system that is currently being run inside of the custom Infineo version of these hearing aids that were released a couple months ago. This new version of AutoSense has been trained with 18 times more real-world scenarios, which supposedly makes it 24% more precise when identifying your listening situation so it can put you into the proper program settings. For instance, if you're at home watching TV in the living room, you'll likely be in a calm situation setting, but then when you hop into your car to drive to a restaurant, it'll switch you to your speech and car mode, and then when you get into the restaurant and identifies the noise, it'll either put you into the speech and noise or spheric speech and loud noise setting. This Ultra update also allows for the better identification of different types of live music, like hip-hop, classic, electronic music, and jazz. Now, personally, I never had any issues with AutoSense OS version 6.0, but I have had a few issues with AutoSense OS 7.0. For example, I've found that if I'm sitting in a quiet room and the air conditioner kicks on, it switches me over to my speech in car mode. Now you might not think that that's a big deal, but essentially my speech in car mode is designed to get rid of a bunch of road noise. And the last thing that I want my hearing aids to do in a quiet room is to clamp down on any other sound that's in that room. The only way that I can prevent this from happening is reducing the noise block setting on my calm situation program or switching into a completely different program altogether, which I find to be quite annoying. That being said, so far that's the only issue that I've ever had with AutoSense OS 7.0, but again, I never had that issue with AutoSense OS 6.0. Now, perhaps the biggest improvement with this firmware update is improved battery efficiency. Prior to this update, you could realistically expect to get anywhere between 18 and 21 hours or so of battery life before your hearing aids would die on you. Of course, as you probably know, the amount of battery life that you really get depends on the severity of your hearing loss and how many digital features you're running. But battery life was the Achilles heel of the Phonak Infineo Sphere hearing aids. This is because the Spheric Speech and Loud Noise program that really did a great job of separating speech from noise and reducing the background noise would only get you around seven hours of battery life if you were lucky. Now, this was an issue that a lot of people were willing to put up with because this program worked so well. In fact, here's an audio sample for you just to prove it. So behind the beat because when I press it down all of a sudden the pitch shift stuff was behind by like 10 milliseconds. I mean it's enough to make the feel off. Now as amazing as that sound, you could not run that program all day every day because it would completely kill your batteries. In fact, during my initial review of the Funak Audeo Infineo Sphere hearing aids when I was in Las Vegas, I was able to run these hearing devices for 14 hours a day with around 40% of that time being spent in the Spheric Speech and Loud Noise program, but I did have to pop the hearing aids back on the charger for an additional 15 minutes during the day. But now with this firmware update, it has improved the battery efficiency by 30%. This means that the UltraSphere version of this hearing aid that's running the new Spheric Speech Clarity version 2.0 can get you up to 10 hours of battery life when you're running the Spheric Speech and Loud Noise program, and up to 56 hours of battery life if you're not running that program. Now, most hearing aid users wear their hearing aids for approximately 13 hours a day, so you still can't use this AI program all day long, but you can use it considerably longer than what you could prior to this update. After wearing the UltraSphere hearing aids over the past four days, really testing out the battery life, I can tell you that the battery life is substantially better, although I didn't notice any actual performance improvements with this upgrade to Spheric Speech Clarity 2.0. Although I have noticed an upgrade in the connectivity of these hearing aids. As you know, the Infineo devices have Bluetooth version 5.3. Prior to this update, you would have had to pair your Phonak hearing aids both to the My Phonak app and then pair the main hearing aid up to your phone's Bluetooth. This way you would have a low energy connection with the app, but a Bluetooth Classic connection with the phone for audio streaming. This would show three connections in your Bluetooth screen, which happened to create a lot of confusion for a lot of hearing aid users. Now, after the update, you have something called one-step pairings. When you go to pair your hearing aids up with the app on your phone, it automatically connects you with the Bluetooth streaming connection. 
and then when you go to the Bluetooth section of your phone, it only shows you two hearing aids, which makes a heck of a lot more sense for most people. I should also mention that this update did fix some buggy issues that I had with the Infineo hearing aids and staying connected to a smart device for streaming. Before the update, I would regularly have to go back into the Bluetooth settings of the phone and tap on the hearing aid to activate it for streaming again. Every once in a while, I'd even have to completely reboot the phone. But at least since I've done this update, I haven't had to do that a single time. With that said, the streaming sound quality didn't get any better. That is largely dictated by how well the hearing aids are programmed in the programming software by your hearing care professional for media streaming and music streaming. I guess you could also throw phone call streaming in there as well. Now, some people do not like to stream from their phones into their hearing aids. And if you want to deactivate that, you just go into the device settings of the app and turn off that streaming connection. Now, I've also heard some people asking if this new firmware update activated the LE Audio Bluetooth and AuraCast, and I'm sorry to say that it didn't. So as of right now with these Infineo hearing aids, you do not have a telecoil and you still do not have AuraCast capabilities, which is unfortunate because I'm having AuraCast installed inside of my office here in a few days. And I really wanted to test it out with the Phonak hearing aids. On a happier note though, another change that was made with this firmware update is something that both hearing care professionals will love and individuals who are being fit with these hearing aids will love. That is a new and improved feedback manager inside of the programming software. Now I'm not talking about better feedback suppression, I'm talking about running a feedback manager that lets us know how much amplification we can get for you before feedback occurs. This update has made running the feedback manager substantially faster than before, and in my opinion, the sounds that you have to endure when this feedback manager is being run with the internal signal coming from the hearing aids is a lot more comfortable to listen to. Running this feedback manager is critical for identifying if the type of rubber dome that you're using or the size of ear vent that you're using is going to be appropriate for treating your hearing loss. Now it only takes around 13 seconds to run instead of over a minute to run. Now this may not seem like a big deal, but if your hearing care professional is anything like me, they're trying to find the perfect dome or the perfect vent size to fit you with which means that we may be running this feedback manager several different times, trying out different sizes of domes, different types of domes, and different types of vent plugs. This ultimately can save a lot of time so we can spend more of our time custom fine tuning the programming of the hearing aids using real ear measurement verification. This firmware update also made it possible to run this feedback manager remotely so you don't have to be in your hearing care professional's office, although I don't really recommend doing that a whole lot, especially if you're trying on different types of domes at home because those will also need to be verified with real measurement for you to get the maximum amount of performance from them. Overall, these are some really nice feature enhancements that Phonak has rolled out with this ultra firmware update, but let me tell you why this is such a big deal even if you're not a Phonak hearing aid user. You see, historically, every single time that a hearing aid manufacturer would create new features for their hearing aids, they would always put it in a new hearing aid and try to sell you that new hearing aid. It didn't matter if you just purchased those hearing aids six months prior, if any new features came out, you basically would be stuck with whatever hearing aids you had just purchased. Still to this day, many hearing aid manufacturers will make minimal improvements to their hearing aid technology and put it out as a brand new hearing aid, and almost the only difference between those hearing aids is the laser engraving of the model of that device. Phonak has just set the precedent that if a hearing aid manufacturer is not making significant hardware changes to their devices, that they should be rolling out future firmware updates to improve the performance of their existing devices without always trying to sell you a new hearing aid. And yes, I know that a lot of hearing care professionals are upset with this update, primarily due to the lack of communication, but I personally love this strategy with an update to their firmware rather than just releasing a brand new hearing aid with the same feature enhancements that I just told you about. And hopefully, Hopefully, other hearing aid manufacturers will follow Phonak lead and do the same thing. Okay guys, if you wanna watch my full detail review video of the Phonak Infineo hearing aids to learn all about the features that are exactly the same, I will link that video down in the description for you. But what do you think? Do you like this strategy of Phonak releasing a firmware update to give you more features and enhancements on your existing devices? Or would you have liked to see them release a brand new hearing aid? Let me know down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.